I want to say we need to talk with this dude again. What's his name? Starts with a C. <laughs> Corin, there you go. Do, do you sport with me? From your description, it can be no other than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the golden order and its benevolent rays. And to you too, my sincerest thanks. Okay. May the golden order shine through you. Uh, and I guess through you as well, since that just maybe seems like the appropriate thing to say in this particular instance. I don't know. Spent a little time upgrading some things while I was off camera, and I have not really had a chance to play with them. So today is going to be a little bit of an experiment to see uh, was this a good idea or not. So starting off, we have Eleonora's polearm here, who... Um, uh, who? No, that uh, seems to be shredding guys pretty well. And then I also have in my left hand the Godskin Peeler, which has been upgraded. It's not quite as upgraded as the um, Twin Blade was, the regular Twin Blade. But it has also been set up to be blood, so we have basically switched now to a dexterity-based blood build. Which, um, you know... It'd be better if you were doing arcane, but uh, minor details and such. I'm very curious to see how this plays out. Uh, like I said, this is this is really my first experimentation with it, and so far, I mean that went okay. I mean I was being kind of dumb there when the dude used uh, whatever it is, golden something or other. Now, I'm gonna say this is pretty effective so far, and I'm okay with this. I mean that dude just got absolutely wreckadoed. It's kind of funny because the pole arm, the uh, the one in the right hand, is not really as upgraded as other things as well. well I'll take your surcoat. And because everything is so heavy, I had to switch some gear around. So we're using the Godskin Noble Hood. Uh, I don't know, some random gloves. And we're still wearing the Crucible armor because that gets our poise at 60, which I don't know. I, it, I don't know. I'm not sure how much... 60 poise matters versus, uh, you know, 59 poise or 55 poise for that matter. I know poise does make a difference, but, uh, you know, whatever. We're gonna go run over this way and uh, maybe say hello to this guy. How you doing? And yeah, I was going to try to watch out for the ballista. And if you didn't see it, I'll point him out in just a second. How you doing? I, I just need one swing on you. So there's one right up there, about to fire, and one right over there, probably also about to fire. And I don't really want to get hit by either of them, so we're going to go around. Or does, uh, ow. Okay. I was going to ask if Torrent needs a raisin. Yes, Torrent needs several raisins. And we'll give you one more too, just to be on the safe side. There we go. Torrent is looking good, all right. Uh, where are we at, by the way, with our various things? Let's get rid of uh, this guy. And then we're going to drop in... Let's drop in that guy. I also... Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Actually, you know what? We don't even need... We can't keep... Well, no, we'll leave it there. Because I think I still have... And there we go. still have Bloodhound's Fang on the right hand if we have need or want of it. But I don't think we have any shields equipped anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. How you doing? You're looking in the wrong direction, buddy. It's kind of a shame that it's still... These guys are not going down in one hit. I'm pretty sure Bloodhound's Fang would take him out in one, but, uh, you know, whatever. Sometimes you just gotta mix it up and try something a little different and have a little fun with stuff. So, oh, I'm going to um, try to kill myself here by falling off a ledge. It wasn't a very far ledge, mind you, but just the same. Just out of curiosity here. Now, okay. We're gonna do this. Okay, so one power attack, even though the bear knew we were there, so didn't even get the drop on the bear, really. Like, that's the whole thing with combat in this game, is if you can get the drop on someone, you're going to get some bonus damage. And that bonus damage uh, sometimes is the difference between one shot or not. At least that has been my experience. Okay, where are... Where are those ballista guys? Oh, they are down there. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking they were on a different level than where 
the scarab was. But no, scarab's over here. Oh. Yeah, see, like I was saying, just... Just shy of being one shot. It's kind of annoying, but eh, it's fine. And we'll just go over here. And we'll get this guy. Oh, alright. Oh my gosh. Okay. It helps if you swing the correct direction. I've learned this in my many, many hours of playing this game. Oh, we got a perfumer or something over going on over here. Uh, what is with that dude's sword? It's very white. Hi, let me get up. Like, literally, wouldn't even let me stand. That was great. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna break through your shield without much trouble. I'm just telling you, buddy. Fair warning. It's going to get smashed right through. Okay. Smithing Stone 3 is good because we burned through a few of them. I didn't tell you that I also, just for the giggles, upgraded the Naga Kiba, but... It's not really upgraded enough to use, so... I mean, it, it's, you know... It's not upgraded enough for me to use, because I'm not good enough to make that one worthwhile. It's only a plus six. It's basically where the, the Naginata is, and... I'd really like to upgrade the Naginata as well. That was... that had a kind of fun moveset. I liked... I liked what I saw of that one. I feel like I'm hearing more... Scarabs. Maybe up high? I mean, we've seen a red and a blue so far. And I feel like I'm hearing another scarab up there, too. Okay. So I think we have one more on each side. Maybe another red and blue again, kind of like how it, it was a little further below. Now, I don't want to go too far up. Oh, hi. How you doing? Yeah, you're a blue guy. I'm just going to leave you. We don't need to mess with you. And there's a red guy over there. Okay. I think maybe I want to be off torrent for this. Ow. Okay. I was hoping to poise through that, but no such luck. Okay. We'll go ahead and chug the second one just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hi. That's gonna break your poise. Hi. I don't want to dodge. I just want to stand there and get hit. That's fine. You know what? I'm gonna do one more because I think what we have over here is a red one. So if so, we can use that to refill our flask. There you go. That works for me. And then things go from uh, pretty calm to pretty interesting in a hurry. So we're just going to keep climbing up here and try and take a moment every once in a while to look around. But once we get up about here, I don't have the bow equipped, do I? I think I'd rather have the bow than uh, the bow is going to put us in heavy. Um, yeah, we need to... I meant... That was not the one I was trying to get rid of. Here, I'll get rid of that guy. And then I still don't know if the bow's going to put us into heavy load or not. Does not. Okay. That's fine. So let's find this guy. How you doing? And we'll just... Uh, I'm hoping that we can only get one of them at a time, not both of them. Oh my gosh, come on, are we going to miss with all of these arrows? Except the first one? Apparently, because I don't even want to fire an arrow at him. I feel like I'd have a better chance of hitting this guy right now using manual aim, which is saying something. Oh, we got a little too far away. That's fine. It's actually okay, because then what we'll do is we'll get this one, because there's a second tree sentinel, because why wouldn't there be? Oh yeah, I see your shield there, and I don't care about it. Nice try, sir. Ow. That was better than a try. That was a uh, job well done and stuff. Okay. Ow. 
he's too far too. I wanted to see if we could get him poisoned. I mean, you know, why not, right? Why not? I do much better on foot than I do on horseback with with those guys. All right here, let's do it this way. That way we can land a hit and actually land it. I mean, this is crazy that I'm doing better with manual lame than I am with lock on. Like that shouldn't even be a thing. Okay. We have indeed reached poisoning. Ow. I'm gonna get crushed. I'll be fine. I'm trying to be greedy here just because I'm really curious what's gonna happen with the hemorrhage. There it is. I knew it was coming. So I was just really trying to get as many in there as I could, just out of stubbornness more than anything else. Okay, so that's one of them gone. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. That's going to be a little short, I think. Oh, no, that hit. You're going to drop that shield in a second. <laughs> okay, that was enough. He's poisoned. Let's go try this again. Now that I don't need to worry about the other one, this one that is, joining in when I'm not ready for it. Oh, dang it. I thought I was going to be far enough away. I think I... Oh, hi. How you doing? It is kind of interesting because the stairs sort of change the calculation of everything. They really do. It's quite an interesting combination to deal with. Yeah, that guy got shredded. I didn't feel too bad about that at all. That was fine. So we got an Erd Tree Great Shield and a Hero's Rune. That reminds me, there was something else we got on the last one that I forgot to look at. It was when we got the Naga Kiba. I remember that much. Weighty Great Shield forged of gold carried by the Order of Tree Sentinels, heavily equipped knights, blessed by an old incantation of protection. The living rampart of the Erd Tree, the Tree Sentinels are the standard to which all defenders of the Erd Tree aspire, and has a unique skill of golden retaliation. Ready the shield to unleash its protective incantation. This will dispel sorceries and incantations, retaliating with golden power. And I can't remember what else we got alongside the Naga Kiba. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. I really am. It was... I don't remember if it was an Ash of War or what it was, but there was something else that I was interested in checking out, and I totally forgot to look at it because I was just like, oh my gosh, another katana, it's only been 12,000 years. And I say 12,000, and I say that fully recognizing we have multiple katanas, but the other ones are all like intelligence based, so, you know, this one's not. There's something going on over here, my instinct is to click the right stick down and zoom in. Uh, it doesn't work that way in this game, that's the wrong game, dude. The wrong game, but we can use this guy to zoom in, and there's just like some sort of power or something going on over there. Since I don't trust that this will go correctly, let us bounce back to, I guess, this one to rest and reset. So this time around, we're going to go along the outside over here, and oh, look at that, there's an encampment, or... There was something over here. We'll take some beast blood. Sure, why not? Guess we haven't really wandered around in this area, have we? There's some bats over there. Uh, there's some... No, those are not bats. Those are misbegotten. Well, here, let's uh, let's go say hi to them. Oh, well, that's one of them. How you guys doing? Yeah, they're going to be a pain, aren't they? That didn't knock you down? Really? I'm surprised by that. Do I need to pull out a bow so I can hit you? 
Because I will do that. It'll be very annoying, but I will do it. I don't mind. I mean, I sort of mind. So there, it looks like there's a small encampment back here. Um, have we been into this one? We're coming in from a different direction, so... I'm not sure. I think we have. Oh, hi. Okay. Yeah, we've been in this one. There's... There's nothing of interest here, I don't believe. Okay. Uh, let's head back to where we just came from then. Which means... Let's go... Um, oh. There's uh, a few more of them here. Well, sure. I mean, it's some easy rooms for the most part. There you go. I mean, yeah. We'll take him. I mean, it's only 300, but that adds up over time, right? All right. So we're going to head on this way, and I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these guys now and hope that we will find a group that we can get rid of that'll restore that flask. And if not, eh, we're fine, really. If I can't do this with nine, ugh. Oh well. Whatever this may be, you know? If I can't do it with nine, then it probably wasn't meant to be. Although, I do have some slight concerns about what we're about to do now that I think about it. I'm not sure that this is going to be a good choice. We might need... We might need to go... Here, let's change you out to... That one. And I'm still not convinced this is going to be a good weapon choice. I'm going to go with the bigger one, though, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, Bloodhound's Fang does so much more damage right now, it's crazy. I mean, granted, it's plus 9, not, not plus 7, so... When you think about it in those terms, it makes sense, right? It's much higher level. So it, it really should do more damage, but just the same kind of shocking how much more damage it does, but it's also a lot slower, and that's the big difference. You take a swing, and it, it uh, you know, you're not going to swing again for a moment. It's just kind of the way it goes. What are you doing? Can I kill you and take your gravity stone chunk fan thing? We don't ever really use those, and I think they're kind of more of an intelligence consumable than anything else, so, you know, not being the smartest light bulb in the room. I never really used those, but that's okay. Should probably give them a world at some point, though, just to see what happens. There's a bunch of these things that I, I don't really know how, how they work, what they do, all that sort of stuff, so at some point, yeah, definitely need to give that a whirl. There's a dude over here standing at the edge of the crater that we could see from up high. And I'm going to do... This is probably not the right decision to make. But I'm going to do that anyway. <laughs> I think I like this guy already. He's hilarious. There we go, we got ourselves a Falling Star Beast. Oh, I do not like these guys at all. I'm not sure that I'm going to do a very good job against it. Um, hi. I mean, can I hit it? Oh, okay, yeah, we do good damage with Bloodhound's thing. I'm not worried then. Not too much. I mean, a little bit, not a ton. Oh, crap. I knew something bad was about to happen, but I was I was trying to, you know, get away. Oh, good. Uh, Oga over there is taking some of the aggro. I need to heal again. Okay, I want to go back on Torrent here and just see if we can get some drive-by hits. Yeah, that was a good one there. That was another good one. We'll take that. Ah, dang it. Okay. So let's bounce around a little bit. And you're going to do it again one more time. So that worked out okay. 
I mean, all the follow-up attacks have missed. Minus one. That's great. That's just fine. Just out of curiosity, how much do those do? Eh. They actually do a respectable amount of damage. 150 is not bad. I think the other one maybe hit it in the head, so it did a little more. Yep. Got its attention. Yeah, this isn't too bad. He says while well, getting wrecked. Okay, and we'll just line up a shot here, and then that'll be enough. Oga, uh, where are you? Oga. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? Oga, we'll give you a bow. You were a lot of fun. So we got ourselves a somber smithing stone five. We only got one of them. We got six. I uh, know five somber six. Regular six. My gosh. And some gravity stone fans and chunks. And that was, that was not a bad little fight right there. I was okay with that. It went a little better than I thought it might, actually. And it doesn't look like there's anything over here. So we'll just kind of just make sure. Oh, that... That birdie has, um, I think. No, I'm not sure if that one has extra rune eyes or not, but we don't need to kill the owl. That's fine. It's, uh, you know, it's just an owl. We don't need anything it has, at least not right now. At some point, we, we may want some feet or eggs or feathers or whatever, but I don't think we need any right now. Now, there's a Mikola's lily up here. I thought it was a St. Trina's, but I think it's just the wrong color. The Mikola's is kind of more orangey, and the St. Trina's, I think, is more of a, a white or off-white. So it looks like we've cleaned out this area pretty well here. Why don't we go ahead and bounce back to the grace, and then we'll pick up a new direction again. Because I'm not sure if I want... To, uh, you know what? Let's just go in there. We got the door open. Let's go do that. I'll, I'll run around the corner, and then we'll go inside the gates. Okay, so we got the tree sentinels, you know, a few minutes ago. And we'll just go ahead and ride through the open gates and see what we've got here. There's kind of two reasons I want to go in here and other reasons I don't. I wanted to go in here just because I know there's going to be a grace right here. I just happen to know that. And I did also remember that there's an Erd tree over here that's going to give us a golden seed. Honestly, I didn't remember that there were two. But when we look on the map itself, you can see right there, there's the little map icon. So that little pedestal on the map. So we'll go ahead and take the map here for Langdell Royal Capital. And that's actually going to fill in some of the area that we were just looking at. And I mean, if we look around over here, just trying to, to see what we have. I mean, we got the, the walls here. Got an Erd tree over there that's inside the walls. We got the capital. We've actually been to these ones, recall, because we've teleported there before. Got a finger reader crone up ahead, but I don't think I'm inclined to go running around in there just yet. I still kind of feel like there's some more stuff maybe over here-ish. I don't know. And then I know we have stuff over here, which is eventually going to lead us to Volcano Manor, which we've been to because we got abducted, I think, and went that way. I don't I don't remember how we ended up there, now that I say that. So I'm thinking what I might want to do first is... Let's see, I'm just trying to look at where everything is, where these graces are. I don't remember if we can get to anything... Gosh, Windmill Village. Where was the one that was up on the bridge? Is it this one? That's the one that's up on the bridge. Got the Altus Tunnel down there. I think what I want to do is bounce back over here. And we're just going to see if there's anything else that's kind of along the, the border of capital. I don't think... Here, we'll just try just to make sure. We'll see if Bach has any new dialogue. Nope. Oh. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Here, we'll go back to our Godskin Peeler and Eleanor's Pole Blade. Just because uh, I want to kind of mess with those. And I do miss not having the the twin blade stuff going on so it's kind of fun to get back to that even though it is definitely less effective right now i mean it does nowhere near as much damage kind of wondering is there any there's a passage down there isn't there let's go check that out we didn't go wander back there so maybe there's something down here that we should be looking at 
Because we did kind of go up the way over there, and I don't know. We should probably go, like, all the way up to just see if there's anything over here. This is one of those things where I'm not 100% sure where everything is. I, I've run around some of this area, but not all of it. So at this point, there really is just some genuine... Ah, oh crap, that's a rune bear. Exploration of just trying to see, you know, what's out here. I want nothing to do with a rune bear. You'll have to forgive me, and if you don't, I don't care. I want nothing to do with that thing. I am yet to see an instance in which it is worth my time. Like, just straight up. Actually, I'm yet to see an instance where those guys are either. Let's ignore that because I see there's something behind it. The Perfumer's Grotto. Okay. I'll have to see what this goes to. Let's turn on our light. See, this is why I wanted to go back and just see. Are we missing anything? Because I just, I felt like there was more stuff around. And it doesn't mean that I was justified in going back. I mean, I guess in a way it does. But it doesn't mean I was correct in my assessment. How about that? That's what I'm, that's more what I'm trying to say. It's just, I don't know, it kind of had the look of like, yeah, there's probably something else here. You know, one thing we have not tried to do just yet, and we're going to try it right quick, is do a sneak attack with the pole blade. And I intentionally wanted to make sure that I did that two-handed just so I could see what sort of damage we're talking about. And that was fine. That guy's like, hey man, I know I had a friend right here. You did. And... Your friend got wrecked. Okay, take that. Some Altus Blooms. And then we have more flowers over here, which... Hooray, said no one ever. Although, I am kind of wondering if... Eleonora's Pole Blade might be decent against him. Just because it does do fire damage. I don't think you can hemorrhage those stupid things, but, um, you know... I should tell you too, um, I did take off, I think I told you that I, I set up the Godskin Peeler to be blood. So it does have a fair amount of blood loss buildup. Look at that, 89, that's pretty considerable. So I put Bloody Slash on it instead of leaving whatever the tornado blade was on there. Cause I don't know, that just didn't really seem like what I was going for. I mean, I kind of figured we're using, oh, you're not dead? I had a little bubble. What's up with that? It's no fair. I don't know. I just, I like the idea of uh, going for a blood kind of setup on them just for the giggles. Here, we're going to do a flame cleanse me. And then we'll go back to our peeler. I mean, I do see it's a little fiery over there. Ah, gosh. I mean, if you're just going to do that, I'm kind of inclined to pull out the bow and just throw a bunch of... Uh, arrows at you. We've got, like, hundreds of them, literally. Cannot do any item crafting right now, which is obnoxious. I really don't think you can make these guys hemorrhage, so... Ow. I mean, that, that did a good chunk of damage there. I don't mind that. Uh, are you gonna do your poison thing again? Uh, you are... You are. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to do that. And because you're in the middle of doing this obnoxiously long attack, we can't do any crafting, which is annoying. Because I was going to say we could just bust out some throwing pots. Throw some fire at this guy. And I think if we get around it, we'll end up being okay this time. Oof. That was not worth the effort for five living jar shards. I'm sure they're useful for something. I just don't know. Don't know what, or at least I don't know what off the top of my head. Right now, looking at how much health is missing, I'm like, man, this would be a good time to use some sort of weapon that, you know, heals up on hit or something like that. Heals on kills. I don't know, something... How you doing? Oh. Don't do it. Okay. 
These guys, I think we're just going to ignore. I just want to see if there's anything back here. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Not worth fighting. So not worth fighting. But I do think I want the cave moss. Because I think that has some sort of use. Like actual use. I don't know. Whatever. If not, eh, who cares, I guess. It's funny. This kind of reminds me of the place we were just in. I guess it's this big root here that reminds me of that. Even though this is most definitely different. Well, I was going to guess a stone sword key. It looks like you can make that jump from the root to get that cave moss, but that just doesn't seem like that's going to be worth the time and effort. I almost think you can make the jump up here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, I'm not worried about that, although there is a part of me that wonders if there's like a false wall back there. So here, we'll do this. No, okay. I don't think there's any reason to get up there then. Um, just looking here. This route doesn't seem to connect, so... Wherever this place is, it looks like it's much larger than what I'm seeing. Because, I mean, look at this. This, this looks like this is the end. How are you guys doing? I wouldn't even need to use both things on you. So, some Miranda powder, warming stones, golden runes, golden runes. Uh, before we go in, just in an effort to kind of cycle through some different guys, we're going to try a black knife tiche. I have no idea if this is going to be a good decision. But I also want to go back here. Like, I'm really kind of frustrated by this because... Like, I don't see any connection, right? There's no connection whatsoever. That root just kind of wraps underneath. And yet there's clearly a lot of area over there. So is there a hidden wall somewhere? I mean, I guess that's the obvious answer, right? Just missed something, but I mean, I didn't think there was much to, to poke around at. Uh, we don't have enough to summon Tish because we've had to use a couple of flames. So here. Let's do that, and then we'll have enough to try Tish. Alright, can I have a second to... Um... Do that? There we go. Because we might need to do some poison negation here. So we've got Nomen Killer, and we've got a big stupid flower. How you doing? Ow. You are just gonna poise through that, aren't you? Uh, bad news for you. You are dead. So, there's that. And uh, also bad news for you. You are also dead. So, let's get out of the way of that. Great Omen Killer Cleaver and uh, Tish. Thank you very much for that fight. I appreciate you helping out with that. That was a good time. I mean, that was kind of cake. Omen killer guy just lost a lot of blood there. This is not the way we came in. Aha! Aha! Now I'm slightly worried that I've wasted all, all my potions and things on a battle that... Wait a minute, no, this is the way we came in. Yeah, no, this is the way we came in. Well, crap. Okay. So... Does this way go any further? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, goodness. Once again, I find myself not knowing how in the world I'm supposed to get to the places I can see in the dungeon. That's very annoying. Very frustrating. I actually just ran through that whole tunnel again just because I was kind of wondering, you know, did we miss anything? Like, I don't, I didn't notice any obvious spots for a false wall or anything. Hey, nascent butterfly. All right, we'll take those. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm feeling like we didn't miss anything there, but um, I could be wrong. So, I don't know. Here, we'll just kind of drop back and we're going to go I was a little worried about that jump there. 
We're going to go back down the road here, down the hill, and we're going to hang a right. Oh, crap. I forgot about you. I forgot about you, and I don't want to mess with you. It's interesting. Like, I'm trying to figure out, too. Like, I guess not all rune bears are the same. Because it seems like some... We've, we've tested this a little bit. Some of them get knocked out pretty quickly in terms of uh, giving them sleep arrows or sleep uh, sleep sword or whatever. And others, uh, maybe not as much. That's interesting. Okay, so we have not been this way. There's definitely a little tunnel that connects underneath. And this is going to end up running alongside... I think this is going to run alongside the, the wall, which... No, it's not. Okay, never mind. I... Oh, okay, this is... Octopus land, so I don't really want anything to do with any of this. There's a orange item here. Amber Starlight. I say orange, it's gold, whatever. We can we can debate the merits of the color and its saturation, etc. later. So this is not where I thought this was. But just the same, we're going to keep continuing on because it looks like there's another tunnel that's going to exit out, and then maybe this one. Let us go right. Wait a minute, did I just turn around? I did. Okay, because this is where we came in. Okay, let's try that again. Goodness. I'm telling you, man, I get lost in these games. This is where a mini-map would be great, just so I could kind of keep on target. I appreciate when a game has a good mini-map. Okay. So there is nothing over here. This was it. That's that's why. That's why I got turned around, because there was really nothing else over here. So I did miss a sacramental bud, so... I don't remember that these things respawn. I don't think they do. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different one, so we'll go ahead and take that. So this still doesn't really fill in some of those gaps I was hoping to fill in. I need to look at the map just so I can see. So this... Yeah, see, like, what I want to do... I mean, I guess that's this area here. Now, this area here is what runs along and connects to the grotto. So, we need to go up. And then see if we can go down to the right. Because I don't think we've been over there. And maybe I'm wrong. But every once in a while, I'm right. And it's uh, worth... It's worth exploring that just to make sure. And maybe what maybe the reason we haven't been over there is because we need to go up higher even. That could be the case. And I just didn't realize that. So we can definitely get down into that valley. I mean, I don't know how. I'm just saying we can. Uh, we might be able to survive that drop right there. That doesn't look too bad. I kind of want to wander around the perimeter of it first. Just to see what else we have, because it doesn't really look like there's anything down there, but that just means that there's probably something down there. We're going to ignore this stuff down there, because that's actually where the octopi are. You could just see them right there. I didn't notice that when I dropped down initially, so with a little luck, I have cut that up the video. Ugh. I don't know if I'll remember that when it comes time to processing, editing, rendering, etc. But uh, with a little luck, I will, because that was a waste of time. And I'm not seeing a way to get up. There's definitely up. Like, there's somewhere we can go. But I am not seeing how to get up to there. So it kind of seems like that whole area that we haven't been able to get to is because that's just up high. Therefore... You can't get over there. Which, um, not really what I was expecting. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not seeing a way to get to that. So, as best as I can tell, that then means we need to go back that sort of direction. Because I'm thinking that's, um... There's more stuff over here that I know we have not gone through, so let me find an appropriate grace, and we'll just bounce rather than run. 
So we're kind of running around close to the edge of what we can see on our current map. And we'll go ahead and take a golden room four there. And honestly, I'm just kind of ignoring these guys because I wanted to see like what's around. And I don't think we've been out here, so um, maybe we've been over here? Not sure. This is the Writheblood Ruins, if I remember correctly. So we've been up here, because we've been through these guys, right? Yeah, big old pile of blood and stuff. I think, wasn't this where we found, uh, uh, we found Yura and Eleonora? So if we go this way, if we keep going and follow this road all the way around, we can eventually get to another map piece, which, man, that seems like a long, long run. But I know that there's still some stuff that we haven't done down in this area. So I'm thinking what I want to do instead is go down here and we'll see if we can finish off what's down in this area instead. I don't think we've been through this encampment. Now that I see all this, I'm like, man, there's all sorts of stuff that we missed over here. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on down there. So here, let's get rid of this guy. With the... I'm not as worried about those guys. I mean, yes, I realize they just got their hits in, but... The guy with the, the torch. That's the problem. Ow. Don't throw lightning pots at me. That's rude. It's very rude. Here, we'll just go ahead and do that. That'll heal Torrent. That'll heal us. Heal us. Let's maybe go around... Gosh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff we haven't done over here. A lot, a lot. Because I don't think we've been through that area yet, have we? Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I know there's still a boss down here that we haven't yet approached. Uh, we don't want to go in that way. Just because I saw some stuff over here. This is what I saw. Is going to be bad, bad news. Oh my gosh, buddy. Oh, um, you have a big sword, so that's kind of why that happened. I get it. Okay, I want to make sure we get rid of these dudes here, so you know, let's do this. Oh, really? Because we're gonna want to go down there, but not if these dudes are out and about up here. Okay. That looked fine. Nope. Oh, hi. I'm just gonna L1 spam you until you drop. And I'm okay with that. Alright, that gets rid of all of the ballistas that are overlooking. Oh, hi, how you doing? Let's get rid of you. That are overlooking this area. So let's go in here, because I'm pretty sure we haven't been in here, right? Sometimes it gets really tough remembering what I've done versus what I've done with my friends. So. Troll's Golden Sword. Let's see if we can take a look at that one right quick. Troll's Golden Sword. Sword given to the lesser giants who fought for the Erd Tree during the war against the giants long ago. Though they have lost their minds, they stay inseparable from their swords that are in sad shape, such that the Golden Plate had flaked away. And it's got Troll's Roar on there as a uh, Ash of War. Got some Lightning Grease. A lot of tents over here. And nothing in them so far, which is kind of annoying. I mean, lots of crap in them, inviting you, practically taunting you to come roll into them. And yet, no items. Go figure. Go figure. That's cruel, game. That's cruel. Okay, so that's the one we picked up, right? We got the sword off of that guy. Man, not a thing. Okay. I mean, that was completely and utterly useless, basically. That's great. I mean, even just like, I don't know, a crappy rune would be something. Let's check this other wagon over here. Got a purple in this one. The Great Shield Talisman. Let's take a look at that. 
So the Great Shield Talisman. Talisman depicting a knight holding a Great Shield boosts guarding ability. The Knights of Lane Dell once modeled themselves after the Tree Sentinels. Their purpose is to protect that which deserves protection, and thus the shield always comes before the sword. Okay. So not much to speak of in here. I think we've basically rolled through every tent. Maybe not this one. Nope, even that one. How about that? Hi, try again. Cannot summon Torrent while you're in a tent. Wise word, wiser words have never been said. Nah, whatever, I ruined that. It's fine. Yeah, let's just go in on foot. I'm okay with that. Surely there's no one else around. Hi, how you doing? I'm not going to use target lock because, uh, I don't know. I know better, apparently. I don't, but I think I do. Got a warming stone there. We'll take that. your butterfly, sir. I mean, we always have use for those, so that's cool. We do have a pumpkin head over here. Let's see if we can get behind this guy. Can we sneak in back here? Yes, we can totally sneak in and he'll have no idea where we are. Actually, it ended up being true. That's kind of hilarious. Wow, pumpkin head. Never even got a chance. Got some fan daggers. And some Sanctuary Stones. I keep meaning to, to play with the Fan Daggers again. It's funny, I tried them before and I was like, meh. But I think maybe I have a different use case for them now that I'd like to try them with. Uh, namely, just kind of using them as like an in-between item. Like if you're in the middle of fighting something, you just use them as an in-between item. So like kind of in the middle of attacks. Just to kind of keep the pressure on. I don't know, I think they might be okay in that regard. And then because they're so wide, you're going to end up getting, you know, several hits with them. Chances are, anyway. You are going to get knocked off your horse sooner or later. Oh yeah, I know, I saw that one coming too. Oh my gosh. Ow. Okay. Well then here, let's do this, just for the giggles. I needed to do a follow-up attack with the thing. Got it. So here, let's try that again, just because... Man, that just wrecked that guy. Like, holy crap, dude. Yeah, that's the follow-up attack that gets you out of range. And we don't need to get out of range, because that would get back into the powder, potentially. I like that. That is a good Ash of War right there. That was really good. I mean, it reminds me a little bit of Bloodhound's Fangs, uh, whatever it has. Gets you into range, get some uh, some damage in right quick, and then you can get out if if you're so inclined. I don't know, that's pretty good. That's a good Ash of War right there. Do see a chest over here. I feel like I probably missed one in the other encampment, but maybe I'll just go take a quick look just to make sure. A sacrificial twig. Okay. So I think that clears the camps. There's still some more stuff to do over here. We've got... Um, I don't know. Have we been up there? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to maybe take a look and we'll just see. Yeah, I think that guy had something on him. So we've... Oh, and those are those big dudes. Yeah, I don't like those guys very much. So we've been over there. Let's maybe just go take one more pass through here just to make sure I didn't miss another chest because that's definitely a possibility here. And then we've got this one here and there's one more camp up the road which I think is where the pumpkin head guy was. And then I think we have cleared all of this pretty well. That's fine. I'm okay with that. So that kind of leaves us up at a kind of a round uh, back where we started, really. We just kind of ran a circle because we had started down here, I think. 
No, we had started down here on the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. And we kind of wound our way back because we hadn't really done this yet. So I think next time around, what we'll do is we'll probably start uh, back down here again. And instead of going south, if I can take a look here. So instead of going uh, south, which is that way, we'll end up kind of going north because we haven't really gone. That's really not north, but north. We'll end up going that way. And it looks like, oh, look at that right there. That is promising because there's a thing up there, but maybe we've already gotten that one because it's pointing to like that direction. So it maybe is pointing to the Wyndham Catacombs. I'm not sure if if that's where that leads. It, it looks like maybe that's where that goes. We really need to go northwest, but we'll figure that one out on the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.